supporting me, the people that believed in me, my family, and just knowing that hard work pays off. It's been a lot I've been going through, but to overcome all of that and my work speaking for itself, being so silent this year. Shaqiri Richardson, one of the most famous athletes in the world, has been keeping a lower profile lately. Sure, she still rocks that bold style, but the wild hair colors, they've calmed down a bit. Even though she's not as flashy as she once was, her influence hasn't faded one bit. You've probably seen her in NBC commercials or those eye-catching ads for Olay and Oikos. Now, just in case you need a refresher, Richardson's journey has been a roller coaster like no other. Just a few years back, in 2021, she was unstoppable, dominating the 100-meter race at the U.S. Olympic trials. But right when it seemed like nothing could stand in her way, her story took an unexpected twist. She tested positive for marijuana, a substance banned by the Olympics, despite its legality in many states. For one breakout track star, the road to the Summer Olympic Games in Tokyo has come to a screeching halt. It has. Shakari Richardson here failed a drug test after completing her qualifying run, receiving a one-month doping ban. West Juice Kelsey Thord reports some people are outraged. In a moment of honesty, Richardson shared that she used marijuana to cope with the intense pressure of qualifying for the Olympics, especially after receiving devastating news about her biological mother's passing just before a race. Family is a complicated subject for Richardson. While she's not close with her biological parents, her bond with her grandmother, Betty Harp, is powerful. Richardson has often credited her grandmother as the true anchor in her life. Soon after the 2021 trials, Richardson appeared on the Today Show. But let's just say her PR team didn't do her any favors. They couldn't even fix a noisy smoke alarm in her house and the lighting for the interview was all wrong. She looked uncomfortable, visibly struggling with the weight of her suspension. In an attempt to address the situation, she remarked a year later, I want to be as transparent as possible with you guys, whether it's good, whether it's bad, but when it comes to Shakira Richardson, it's never been a steroid. It will never be a steroid attached to the name Shakira Richardson. She tweeted, I wish I never did this. Her words kept sparking conversations, and the criticism just kept coming. Some people even accused the International Olympic Committee of racial discrimination, questioning how they handled her case. For Richardson, it was a rough chapter, especially since she wasn't allowed to compete in the 4x100M relay at the Olympics, even after her suspension was lifted. And I'm ready, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Yeah. And I'm here to stay. I'm not back, I'm better. Now here comes Shakari Richardson. Richardson is a national champion. 1084. The world championships are waiting for Shakari. But despite the setbacks and all the public scrutiny, Richardson wasn't about to let anyone write her story for her. Fast forward to 2023, and after winning the U.S. championships, Shakari Richardson declared, I'm not back, I'm better. She was ready to take on the world at the Paris Olympics. And while she definitely made her mark, it wasn't quite the way everyone expected. Everyone thought Shakari Richardson would easily win the gold medal. But Julian Alfred from Jamaica surprised everyone. She ran an incredible race, finishing in 10.72 seconds. Shakari got the silver medal with a time of 10.78 seconds. But while Shakari's silver medal was an impressive comeback, there was one big challenge that held her back on the track. Her start. She took way too long to get out of the starting blocks. This put her behind everyone else, and she had to play catch-up the whole race. Even though she caught up to some runners, she couldn't beat Julian Alfred, who won by a big margin. This isn't the first time Shakari Richardson has had problems with slow starts. She didn't even qualify for the 200-meter race at the Olympic trials because of this issue. After the final, Richardson looked really disappointed and didn't want to talk to reporters. She was hoping to win gold to complete her comeback story, but it didn't happen. Even at the U.S. trials, people noticed that Shakari Richardson's slow starts were holding her back. They thought she could have run even faster if she got out of the blocks quicker. Unfortunately, the same problem happened again in the Olympic finals, and she couldn't catch up to Julian Alfred. 
To make matters worse, she also didn't qualify for the 200-meter race at the U.S. trials. So even though she won a silver medal, a lot of people were disappointed and started criticizing her online. <laughs> this is one race. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> you know what I'm capable of. Count me out if you want to. Talk all the shit you want, because I'm here to stay. I'm not done. I'm the sixth fastest woman in this game ever. And can't nobody ever take that from me. People were quick to call her out for not winning gold, even though some of the top runners weren't there. Someone even tweeted, Shakari Richardson couldn't win without Shellyanne Fraser-Price, Sharika Jackson, and Elaine Thompson hurrah. What a joke. This year's competition in Paris definitely looked a little different. Some of the biggest names weren't able to compete. Shellyanne Fraser-Price had to pull out because of an injury. Sharika Jackson didn't race in the 100M or 200M. And Elaine thompson hera also missed the Olympics due to injury so the field wasn't as stacked as usual. Still, people online were pretty tough on Shikari Richardson. Some even went as far as calling her a fraud and saying she's overrated. There was a lot of disappointment that she didn't take home the gold, especially after all the hype. But it wasn't all negative. A lot of folks were also talking about how hard it is to be an athlete. They recognized that, even without a gold medal, getting silver is a huge achievement. One person pointed out, Julian Alfred just had a great start. But Shakari ran a great race too. Another chimed in to encourage her, saying, don't let the haters get you down. All right, people do, and we all have our different struggles, we all have our different things we deal with. But to put on a face, to have to go in front of the world and put on a face and hide my pain. Um... But through all the noise, Shakari has been carrying a lot. Not just the weight of expectations, but some deep personal struggles too. Recently, she shared a few videos where she opened up about protecting people who haven't treated her well. She also talked about focusing on self-improvement and trying to be a better person. Yet, you could tell she seemed pretty upset and frustrated in those videos. Shakari Richardson hasn't had a great start to the year. She got into a fight with a flight attendant, and now she's posted some videos that have people worried about her mental health. In one video, she talks about how she's been trying to be honest about her past, but people have been twisting her words and making her look bad. She says she's been protecting certain people, but they haven't been very kind to her. Shakari Richardson also talked about people who turn dreams into nightmares. She said, It might cause problems, but it's my truth. If people aren't ready to face the truth, they shouldn't have tried to hurt me. This is a serious statement especially coming from someone who values family so much. Recently, Shakari has been in the news for some negative reasons. She was even kicked off a flight for breaking the airline's rules. I'm recording me, but you jumped in my video, so I caught you because you jumped in my video. You're harassing me at this point, so I think you should stop. I think you should stop. I think you should stop. You see him, right? Y'all see him, right? Y'all see him, right? Okay. Okay, but I'm sorry. It's not me. Okay, talk to him. No, no, no. Don't talk to me like that. I'm an adult. Do not talk to me like that. It all started when the athlete was recording on her phone, and the attendant asked her to stop because the plane was about to take off. They started arguing, and the things got out of hand. In the end, the athlete was kicked off the plane. Things haven't been looking good for her since then, and her recent cryptic message about her friends has people worried about her well-being. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and hit the subscribe button for more content like this.